Well, the worst of the weather is now beginning to exit South Mississippi this afternoon. We had a handful of warnings here across the region for today, and we definitely picked up a lot of rainfall. Currently 61 degrees at a Walt Massey Ford in Columbia. Over an inch of rain, 1.35 to be exact. It's about an inch and a third out there today. We're starting to dry things out there this evening, and we're starting to see conditions improve up in Laurel. South Central Regional Medical Center picking up basically an inch of rain. They're currently at 60 degrees, and our severe threat is now quick quickly winding down. We still got some counties under the tornado watch, but I expect to see those be chopped off that watch within the next 30 minutes to an hour or so as the threat of the uh, worst weather begins to move into Alabama and down into coastal Mississippi. Still some heavy rain though from Poplarville, Wiggins, uh, Maxie, Brooklyn, Lumberton. You're seeing some rain. All this extends east in a portion of the Perry County, George and Green County, Leakesville, Richston. You're still seeing scattered showers, but the worst of it has now slid into Alabama and is moving out of the area, but we still have some lingering showers for those of you over here just to the south and east of Laurel and over towards Waynesboro, but everything is leaving. Uh, the tornado watch has been has been trimmed down. Now it's just remaining for Wayne Perry. Uh, Green and George counties uh, and uh, we're watching this over the next couple of hours. This will begin to be moved out of the area and we're going to quiet down for the rest of this time. But it was definitely a very active afternoon. Very heavy rain got set up this morning along the 50, uh, the 20 corridor. I had a lot of flooding reports across the city of Jackson. Then everything shifted south. We saw our own uh, bouts with warnings, but now things are beginning to dwindle down. We'll see the heaviest stuff moving into Alabama within the next hour or so. Maybe a few lingering showers still through 9 to 10 o'clock, but for the most part, the worst of the weather is moving on out of here as we speak. Overnight, temperatures are going to cool down low 60s, mid 60s, just depending on where you are. And this is going to be about what we're going to see for tomorrow. The low temperatures, about the same as the high temperatures where temperatures are going to stay pretty steady throughout the day, maybe fluctuating a few degrees on either side. But notice we don't warm up that much. We're going to start to see northerly winds. It's going to be a bit breezy tomorrow. Winds out of the northwest between 10 to 20 miles an hour. And notice those afternoon highs struggling to hit 67, 68 degrees. So we're going to stay pretty flat in terms of the temperature department tomorrow, but we'll start to see sunshine return on Sunday, and that means a much nicer afternoon on the horizon. So we're going to start to see some much nicer weather and it's going to be beautiful as we go into Sunday and in early next week as well. Temperatures will continue to climb from the 60s up into the 70s, eventually the upper 70s as we head towards Thursday. All in all, not a bad uh, forecast here with a lot more sunshine. Our next chance of rain does not return into our area until we get to Friday. So we have a long time to dry out. And of course, with the grass now beginning to grow, it's about to jump up as well. It's been a year 